And it is done because the idea is everybody does their role. They prepare, but they also have to work together. So not only are you learning skills that you can use, the most important skill is cooperation and teamwork. We would not be at a level of society we're at today if we were all individual and did whatever we wanted. We have to work together. What does the Toastmaster do? May keep the meeting on time, right? CEO of the meeting. CEO of the meeting, exactly. Needs to review the agenda. Make sure that there are introductions, that people are prepared. Is the grand leader of the meeting. What's next? Oh, this is something that gets everybody table topics. The topics master. What does the topics master do? Comes up with the title topics questions. Right, right. Comes up with three, four, or five questions depending upon the time. And something very important. If a guest comes to your club, is it a good idea to call on a guest to answer a table topics question? Why not? Yes. People come in and their knuckles are already white. <laughs> but you can invite a guest. Some guests come in and they may be Toastmasters for the last 30 years at another club around the world. It's a good idea to invite them. But don't try to, try to get, what's another important function of the table topics master, topics master? Try to get everybody involved, exactly. Look at the agenda. Who are the speakers? Who are the evaluators? Who are doing the other roles? Because the idea of a Toastmasters club, people come and what do they want to do? They want to participate. So it's a good idea to get everybody at least one or two minutes a chance to speak. Of course, we have speakers. What is their function? Prepare. Yes, prepare. Mm -hmm. Preparation. Provide an introduction Practice. for the Toastmaster. Practice. Practice. Practice, yes. There are times that you, you will hear, and I think Stanley mentioned it. Well, Toastmasters Club is just for public speaking. But I'm, I'm okay with public speaking. Yeah, but you may not be a good leader. You may not be a good listener. You may not be a good team player. This, this is the wonderful aspect of Toastmasters training in so many areas. General evaluator. What's a general evaluator do? Well, it's right in the term, general. It's good to be a general, right? What does that person do? It can evaluate the meeting towards the end, yes. Evaluate the evaluators. Right. Why, why do we go to a Toastmasters club? Feedback, that's it, feedback. Isn't it wonderful after you've given a speech, you get a formal evaluation and a little note from everyone in the club. Because if you're going to spend your time standing up here speaking, you want to know, gee, how did I do? But you don't want to be asking yourself, how am I doing while you're speaking? <laughs> so it's good to get that feedback. And then the general evaluator can provide feedback for the evaluators. Because if an evaluation is too harsh, and I've seen some of those, <laughs> you can scare off speakers, especially when they're young. Of course, the general evaluator calls for reports from the meeting functionaries, the art counter, the grammarian, if the timer has any remarks. Speech evaluators, okay, that, to provide an in, a formal and then an informal with the notes, and use those notes. It's so valuable to go home and to see 30 different interpretations of how you were 
as a speaker. Timer? Vicki, what's your role today? Today, I will be timing the speeches in the time listed on the agenda and will notify the speaker when they have met the minimum, the medium, and the maximum time left. There are so many people that say, what do you mean you're only giving me five minutes to speak? I can speak as long as I want. No. How many times have you been at a presentation where you work and the person just goes on and on? And now you're thinking, uh, did I leave the coffee off the shopping list? Or, oh, I didn't, take, I didn't let the dog out. Uh-oh. <laughs> and so, so your mind wanders and you totally lose the value of that person's speech. Grammarian. What does a grammarian do? Yes. Uh, check for misspellings. Yes, mi mispronunciations, misuse of the language. Our lang English language, all languages are beautiful. The English language happens to have the most words in any language. <coughs> that Oxford Dictionary in London, I don't think any three of us could pick it up. It's huge. But we want to learn new words. We want to reward people verbally for using the language beautifully. We can't all be Shakespeare's, but we can learn to use metaphor and alliteration and onomatopoeia and all of the aspects of the English language to make our speeches effective and memorable. And we also want to point out when people are using slang or expressions that may be harmful to certain groups of people, because if you do that in a Toastmasters club, it's a laboratory. No harm will come to you. If you do it in a corporate presentation, it can be very harmful to your career. And the ah counter. Don't you love it when you're speaking and you say something, um, and that bell rings? Do you have a bell? Or a hammer or whatever you use? <laughs> it's really annoying, isn't it? But like Pavlov found out with his dogs many, many years ago, that trains people. That helps. It's not punitive. It helps people to become better speakers. So we have some additional roles. I'm going to list them all. Presenter of invocation, you know, prayer, pledge, thought for the day. Some clubs start off with a joke. And we also have the vote counter, and you might have a parliamentarian. We found that that's, that takes a little <laughs> too much time. But are there any others? Any other of you in a club that, yeah, Don? We have a listen master. A listen master. Can you tell us what that role is? Uh, that person just is at the take, listens to the whole meeting and asks questions of the audience. Ah, to see if people were listening is a little test. Ah. Were you sleeping? Were you preparing your own shopping list for later? Were you worrying about what the boss is going to tell you? <laughs> Listen, Master, any other roles that we have not... Wordmaster. Wordmaster, similar to a grammarian? No, you introduce a new word, and everyone that's... Okay. Speaks, Okay, yes, in some clubs the grammarian provides that function, but wordmaster, words, this is what we're about. You know, leadership is a very funny thing. You can be charismatic, you can be tall, you can be great looking, you can be the most intelligent, you can have degrees, but there's one essential quality that every leader must have. Does anybody know what that is? Leadership. A follower. <laughs> And how are people going to follow you if you can't communicate with them? How do you communicate? Do we, uh, we're not Vulcans. We can't do mind melding. So we have to communicate with words. Okay, let's go quickly. The, the, uh, this is probably the most important job in any club. You can do without every single officer in a meeting. You cannot do without a sergeant at arms. Get the meeting location. Get the room set up. 
prepare the coffee. <laughs> the heel would like that. The president. We've talked about how the president should set the tone. If anybody has any ideas, just throw them out. Vice President Education, Vice President Public Relations, Vice President Membership. Such important roles to be fulfilled by your club officers. Secretary and Treasurer. Well, there's one missing. Does anybody have any idea what that is? ER. Hmm? There's one missing. Very important role. Yes, exactly. The immediate past president. That person, having been through the job of president, now can observe and advise and mentor. This is a mentoring organization. The reason I'm in Toastmasters for 20 years and I call myself a lifer is because these gifts that were given to me, I want to give them to every single one of you. That's why I stay in this organization. And that's why I work for this organization whenever asked. It would be great if everyone was a member. I don't think we'd have any wars. I don't think we'd have any misunderstandings. We might have differences, but we learn to appreciate those differences in Toastmasters. So never forget the immediate past president who, along with the president, there's one very important aspect of the club officers that sometimes gets overlooked, and that is the CEC. Anybody know what CEC stands for? CEC. Club Executive Council. All the officers should get together and meet at least once a quarter. Kind of set tone. It's like the board of directors in a corporation or business. Henry Ford said a lot of wonderful things in his life. One of them was, if you think you can, you're right. If you think you can't, you're right. <laughs> This is a good one. Coming together is a beginning. Keeping together is progress, but working together is success. I hope that you've learned something today about the roles and responsibilities <coughs> and will really work together. Now, what I have is I've, I've made a little Excel sheet of all the officers and their responsibilities. And that looks like a lot. You can get tired just looking at this. And the question is, do you have to do all these things? <coughs> the answer is yes. If you're a committed Toastmaster, it's yes. So I have about 10 of these, but if you want one, just leave your email address and I'll send it to you. Any comments or questions before I conclude? <coughs>